Keep staying on oh, the oh, all around me. Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. All right, y'all. Yes, I've been um, really, really uh, focused this week because I want to start documenting my journey. And for those of y'all and diehards and been with me from day one, I would love to start doing again these uh, uh, streams. So we're getting closer and closer. Um, I guess in my mind to some changes really being made and how I'm getting ready to proceed. But the first thing I want to say, and I'm going to do a video about a little later is uh, my father passed and um, yeah, he passed away and our relationship did get a chance to go full circle. Um, I am, I'm very grateful for the last year of his life I spent with him because as most, most of my people know that's been with me, um, part of my journey is that my, uh, we were strained for over 30 years. And so we went from seeing each other every day and just being, um, in my mind, totally betrayed by somebody that I thought would never end up being angry with me for a particular reason and then not speaking to me. And that's how far it went. However, I fate, as fate would have it, I ended up being responsible for him. And um, I didn't take that job lightly, and it gave me a chance to reflect, care, honor, and respect still the man who gave me life, who helped create me, who was an excellent provider, and I can never, ever say that he wasn't, and to know that. I had more better memories than I ever had um, disappointing ones when it came to him. So I'm going to do a video, a tribute to him a little later. Um, but for those of y'all who have asked me about my parents and my mother, is, she's hanging in there. And my father has, has uh, made his transition. So... That being said, I guess I can move forward now. This particular story bothered me because, you know, I thought about my father. Because had this been my father, Richard Sherman would. And as you know, as I further read, um, uh, 
Raymond Moss, who was Richard Sherman's father-in-law, he said, thought the same thing, that he was going to have to shoot him. Okay. So a lot of y'all don't know that um, uh, Richard Sherman uh, was got drunk and his him and his wife, I guess, was having some difficulty. She went to her father's house and um, they had the moment that that Richard Richard Sherman throws himself against his father in law's door and shouts explicit and it is revealed. The NF star is released from jail at hearing attended by his wife days after she called 911. Now, a lot of y'all are going to be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was there and she supported him. Um, I believe it has been proven that a lot of these NFL players um, ain't right upstairs. That CTE or um, that real aggressive and, and it's that um, just like when you look at these boxers with the Parkinson's. We're learning a lot more now because we're a lot wiser. And that's why we're going to destroy ourselves because we're so smart. Um, but NFL star Richard Sherman was caught on a security camera trying to break into his damn father-in-law's Raymond Moss home. He was seen on video throwing his body into the door trying to bust it open. Raymond Moss said he armed himself with his handgun and fired pepper spray when his son-in-law, Richard, attempted to break in his home. Moss said that the NFL star was partially broke. He partially broke in the door repeatedly by ramming it with his shoulder. See, so that's how strong he is. Ash, Sherman's wife, Ashley Moss, told police he was being belligerent, had threatened to kill himself, and drove after drinking two bottles of hard alcohol. Sherman is facing several counts, um, charges, including one on suspicion of resisting arrest, malicious mischief, and burglary domestic violence. A judge released Sherman on his own recognizance at a hearing Thursday. The Moss described Sherman's behavior as hostile and threatening and says he took necessary action to protect his family. Okay. The dude is seeing trying to break through his father-in-law's home by violently throwing his six foot three inch, two hundred plus pound frame in front of the door while yelling, "Come through, bitch! Come through, bitch!" See what I'm saying? This is not an isolated incident. She been living with this abusive or being bothered with this abusive, uh, crazy dude for quite some time. And if he was bold enough to you come to your father's house. Talking about because he was drunk. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Either we have the beginnings of CTE or he's an abusive individual who needs help. And sister, you need to get away from him. Because if he can come to your house with that, that's a pretty scary thing. He needs help. Get away means until he gets help, till he till something happens. Because the, if you have children and they see in that kind of behavior... Nothing good can come from it. Nothing good can come from it. As a matter of fact, I mean exactly what I said. You need to get the, the hell away from him. His, his, his um, temper is way too bad. And if he would come to your house, with your father's house with that, not even in considering he don't have any respect for him or thinking that he, or he didn't care if he died. Obviously, if he threatened to kill himself before he was finally arrested at um, after this interaction, Sherman reportedly drank two bottles of liquor and threatened to kill himself. He was charged with four counts of misdemeanor and gross misdemeanor charges. Second degree criminal trespass, third degree malicious arrest, and driving under the influence of alcohol. But he avoids felony charges after initially being booked on domestic violence burglary. See? The judge released Sherman after his court appearance and said he's not have any contact with his father-in-law. Sherman's wife, Ashley, was in the courtroom. My kids were not harmed in the incident. He's a good person, and this is not his character, Ashley told the Seattle Times. I want people to know that no one was injured. Okay, now, ma'am, 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 ma'am. 
Yes, you done fucked up the church money. I agree. You done messed up the church money. But the church's money needed to be messed up. Your kids were not harmed, thank God, in the incident. Your kids got no business watching their father perform like this, calling you them kind of names, trying to bust in the father-in-law's doors. So obviously you took your children over there and he did see it and they wasn't harmed. And the only reason they wasn't harmed is because your father-in-law was going to put a cap in his butt. Y'all need help. The brother got CTE. And you won't be 187 if you don't get the heck out this relationship or start some extensive therapy right now. Now, I'm telling you what the gospel is. And you can take it or you can let it alone. How dare his man do some craziness like this? Richard Raymond Moss told investigators that the former Seattle Seahawks and San Francisco 49 star partially broke in the door. This name is, you know, I don't know what he played, but I guess he was, uh, but it seemed like I, his name is associated with some other kind of craziness. Um, so you might seriously want to check him for CTE. According to the statement, Moss gave the police, his family was yelled out in fear as he demanded Sherman to stop. I told him to stop. I armed myself with my handgun at this time, fearing for the safety of myself and my family. Moss toward authorities when Sherman was arrested. Sherman's wife called 911 late Tuesday to report that he was being belligerent, had threatened to kill himself, and was driving away after drinking two bottles of hard liquor. I need officers to my house, Moss told the 911 operator. My husband is drunk and threatened to kill himself. Police say Sherman had crashed his car into a construction zone around 1.30 a.m., but a half an hour before she had hit the attempted break-in. A caller told the dispatchers that an apparently intoxicated driver drove onto the closed construction zone and struck a barricade as he drove off, causing significant damage to the driver's side before becoming completely disabled. During Thursday's hearing, which Sherman was not required to attend, a judge agreed to release him on his own recognizance because this was his first offense. Well, he fired pepper spray at the NFL pro in an effort to protect his family. And he tried to break down his door of the family home. Um, I see Mr. Sherman is a pillar. And this is, uh, who said this, the lawyer? This is something that the lawyer said as he stood up during a hearing which Sherman was not required to attend, of course. The judge released him on his own recognizance, as I said before. I see Sherman is a pillar in his community. He's a business owner and he's a husband and father. I'm going to release Mr. Sherman. The judge placed several conditions on Sherman's release, including that he had no contact with his father-in-law. He avoid drinking alcohol and doing drugs. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, when asked about the incident, Ashley Moss told the CL Times that she wouldn't be making any form any more formal statements. However, she did note that her husband did not harm anyone. <sighs> Yeah. Wednesday's arrest comes from after King County prosecutors and his chef obtained an extreme risk protection order from the Sherman in February. A judge determined Sherry posed a danger to himself and others and barred him from having guns. Details of the case were sealed and it was not immediately clear if any weapons had been seized from him. Now, this is a person that he let go on his own recognizance after this happened in February. Listen to this. Listen to the <laughs> madness 
because he played football. And the judge is probably a fan. A judge determined that Sherman posed a danger um, to himself and others and barred him from having guns. And that was back then. Details of the case were seized. Again, Sherman became a Seattle sports legend during his seven seasons with the uh, Seahawks. The cornerback was a star in their run to a 2014 Super Bowl victory, making a game-saving play to deflect a pass in an NFC Championship game against the 49ers. He left the Seahawks after the 2017 season and played three seasons with, the San, with San Francisco. He is now a free agent. Man ran his car to a construction site. What more do you need? What more do you need to see before someone tries to intervene and have to cover it up for all the madness? Because he obviously is in a lot of pain. Obviously. Obviously. And I hope this is the last time we hear something like this about Brother Richard. Because um, if he continues on this path, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if you end up with a situation um, where the father-in-law uh, or somebody has to um, take him out before he takes them out. It's unfortunate. I pray for that family, and um, y'all better get together. I'll see you in the next video. If you like what you hear, please like, please share the video. Now, and here's what I want to say um, to my family. Thank you all for supporting me. Thank you for being out there. I appreciate it. Hit the like button. Make a comment because it's very important to, you know, my life here on YouTube. Uh, so, um, hit the like button, share the video. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.